Microsoft's MSFT billionaire founder Bill Gates is financially backing the development of sun-dimming technology that would potentially reflect sunlight out of Earth's atmosphere, triggering a global cooling effect. The Stratospheric Controlled Perturbation Experiment SCOPEX, launched by Harvard University scientists, aims to examine this solution by spraying non-toxic calcium carbonate, calcium carbonate dust into the atmosphere, a sun-reflecting aerosol that may offset the effects of global warming. Widespread research into the efficacy of solar geoengineering has been stalled for years due to controversy. Opponents believe such science comes with unpredictable risks, including extreme shifts in weather patterns not dissimilar to warming trends we are already witnessing. Environmentalists similarly fear that a dramatic shift in mitigation strategy will be treated as a green light to continue emitting greenhouse gases with little to no changes in current consumption and production patterns. SCOPEX will take a small step in its early research this June near the town of Kiruna, Sweden, where the Swedish Space Corporation has agreed to help launch a balloon carrying scientific equipment 12 miles 20 kilometers high. The launch will not release any stratospheric aerosols. Rather, it will serve as a test to maneuver the balloon and examine communications and operational systems. If successful, this could be a step towards a second experimental stage that would release a small amount of calcium carbonate dust into the atmosphere. David Keith, a professor of applied physics and public policy at Harvard University, recognizes the very many real concerns of geoengineering. It is true that no one knows what will happen until the calcium carbonate is released and then studied afterward. Keith and fellow SCOPEX scientists published a paper in 2017 suggesting that the dust may actually replenish the ozone layer by reacting with ozone-destroying molecules. Further research on this and similar methods could lead to reductions in risks and improved efficacy of solar geoengineering methods, write the authors of the paper. The exact amount of calcium carbonate needed to cool the planet is unknown, and SCOPEX scientists similarly cannot confirm whether it is the best stratospheric aerosol for the job. Early research suggests that the substance has near-ideal optical properties that would allow it to absorb far less radiation than sulfate aerosols, causing significantly less stratospheric heating. This is the purpose of the experiment. Once a safe, experimental amount of calcium carbonate is released, the balloon will fly through it, sampling atmospheric reactions and recording resulting dynamics. Frank Koich, the project's principal investigator, does not know what the results might bring. The perfect aerosol would not immediately tamper with stratospheric chemistry at all. The only thing it would do is scatter maximum sunlight and hence cool down the planet.